Hidden in the mountains of northern Algeria is the Berber village of Beni Yeni. It's 30 jewelry workshops specialized in beautifully worked jewelry. Silver and precious stones are wrought into ancient bridal decorations still in use today. Arab historian Ibn Khaldun even wrote about the jewelry workshops in the area. According to historians, Beni Yeni has been here since the 14th century when he visited the region. Ibn Khaldun documented the existence of several workshops, not only for jewelry but for armor too. Choichi learned the traditional skills of jewelry crafting from his father. He laments the lack of appreciation for fine work among today's generation. Most young people now look for easy ways to make money. Business at ways art. So that's why you find amazing jewelry from the 40s, 60s, 70s, really beautiful jewelry compared to now. We are already dealing with customers who are unfamiliar with it, who don't really know the difference between real coral plastic silver or refined work. But pieces like these are still bought for weddings, perhaps treasured less than before, but still essential gifts for a Berber bride. The status of the family can be seen through the tazims, a large brooch that used to be given to the bride. The size of the piece shows the size of the family or the tribe that gave it. Wedding brooches can cost you anything from 1,200 to 12,000 US dollars. One pendant hanging from the brooch means she has a boy. Two or three means she has a corresponding number of male children. And no pendants means she has no children. That's according to tradition. There are shapes we use all the time, for example, triangles. You'll find triangles on pottery and in jewelry. Before. Kabyle jewelry wasn't just something for a woman to wear. It was a means of communication, a way to make contacts, and every piece of jewelry carries a message. Chichi continues to forge, inlay, and engrave his pieces with the old system of symbolism, but resources are dwindling. The coral, so prominent in this type of jewelry, is now in short supply due to overexploitation and environmental factors. Yes, before we used it, back when there was plenty of coral. Of course, to use it, we cut it, we file it, and there's always offcuts that we keep. We never throw anything away. We didn't know that a day would come when there would be a shortage and we would have to go back to the stocks of offcuts that we use now by mixing it with resin. But despite the challenges to his business, the designs of Trichy's jewelry remain as they have for centuries. Carol Oyola, CCTV.